What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have for you guys the third matchup in our March Madness Knife Edition. We have the QSP Penguin taking on the Migron Knives Valona. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So, this will be the third matchup in our Knife Madness for March going into April, we have recently had the Sacra take on the task and the Sacra one. We also had the Sakoki take on the, let's see here, the Sakoki take on the Corgi and just edge out the Corgi eight to seven. And if you aren't familiar, all these videos are still up and live. You can go watch them whenever you want. The Sakura ended up taking out the task in a fairly close one as well. So now we have a whole new matchup going on. We have our typical 11 categories. Number three, Migron Valona taking on the number 30, QSP Penguin. Now, those numbers, guys, are not indicative of their actual place. It was just a way for me to keep an organization within the tournament. Uh, I made the numbers, and then I just filled in the knives. I, I made... I've made this chart, I filled in the numbers, and then I just inserted knives that I thought would compete very well. We're down here on the very bottom left, the Valona versus the Penguin. The winner of this will take on either the Trivisa Columba or the Concept Main Street. The Sokoki and Corgi are top right, and our next matchup after this will be a good one. The Kubi Bluff taking on the Remet Rhino Button Lock. So we have a nice round of games coming up here, and it should get very interesting as we move on. I think we are set for another good one here. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll start off with the materials of each of these knives. Category number one. We'll start off with the QSP Penguin. We have a satin finish, sheep's foot blade coming in D2 steel. We also have some very nice micarta here for our handle material. And we have a deep carry rollover clip that's been recessed behind the actual scales and it will be reversible. And the pocket clip screws are not recessed but should not cause any issues going in or out of the pocket. As far as the Migron Valona here, this is going to be coming with a satin finished 14C28N drop point blade. And then we have some nicely finished G10 here for our handle materials. And then both of these will have steel liners. This has a titanium milled pocket clip with a G10 backspacer. And this pocket clip will be reversible as well. We're going to, based off solely off materials, guys, we will go with the Migron Valona here for point number one as the 14C is a better steel than D2 and you're getting that titanium milled clip. Uh, that is a very good set of materials. So we're going into the second category there of price. So based on price, okay, guys, the Valona is a fantastic deal in those materials. Uh, but the QSP Penguin coming in D2 with Micarta at the $33 price point, that is an incredible deal for that knife. So it's very tough for me. This we could almost call a draw because they're both fantastic prices and they're both very good materials at that price. <sighs> Could we go a split here? Let's go with a split here because it's, it's you know, you could say the, the Penguin is better because it's cheaper and you're still maintaining good materials. But then for, you know, 
the $48 price point, you're stepping up to 14C and a titanium clip. So at that price, you, you are, you know, getting a good or great deal. As far as value goes, I am going to lean towards the Migron Valona here. I think there's more value with this knife under 50 bucks. This is the cheapest I could find these knives currently. 48 for the Valona, this specific model of the Valona. And then the specific QSP Penguin in my Carta and D2 is $33. Uh, even though we are a little higher in price than the QSP Penguin, I think the value holds true here. Uh, this knife punches way, way above its uh, price tag. So does the QSP Penguin, but not quite as high as the Valona. Uh, satin finish, 14C, and we get a nicely done milled titanium pocket clip. I think the value will rest with this one by just the slightest of margins, but I think it does rest on the Valona's side here. Uh, very tough call as far as value, especially when we're talking about budget knives or affordable knives that are very affordable and if you're wondering we're using the big idea design pocket pen pro in titanium for this round so we have a three to one lead going to the valona going into cutting we're going to use the same material to check the cutting with and this is of course going to be based on what i feel and think uh this is very thin telephone book paper uh, so if it can cut this cleanly, that means it has a pretty good edge on the knife. And the QSP Penguin here is definitely doing a fine job. That has a decent edge. If it's questionable, we will move on to a second material of some cardboard, which we had to do in the previous two matchups. And the Valona looks like it's not going to be giving up too easily here. Ah, I think that was just me. Let's go ahead and we'll get out the cardboard because I think it's going to be a tough call between the two here. And of course, guys, feel free to state your opinions on any of these categories. Uh, these are just what I'm thinking and feeling during the video. If you see something different in any category or just disagree, feel free to let me know. Uh, I've had people let me know, you know, this, they think this knife, uh, or, you know, it should have been a little closer here or there, but then you're not saying, you know, which category or where. And those are things I really need to know. So that way, when we go into the next, you know, match or rounds, I can make improvements or adjustments, you know, based on your guys' input. So QSP Penguin doing a good job there. Struggling a little bit, I might have to say. This is a fairly dense piece of cardboard here, though. Same piece, uh, just cut in half. So, boy... That might have to go to the Valona here. Just, yeah, I think that might go to the Valona, guys. Let's do a couple across the grain with both. Well, that's cutting pretty damn good, too. <sighs> See, this is where it gets really tough, guys. Really tough. Typically, that's one of the harder ones to judge. Uh, I think we're going to... I was leaning towards the Valona, but the Penguin, it did very well. I'm going to split it here and go 1-1 one, one on both guys. Uh, and do me a favor, too. You know, leave a comment and hit the thumbs up. But if you really want to help, I really would like to get these videos pushed out there. They're doing okay. Um you know, in regards and where my normal videos land. These are doing okay. Uh, the first one is doing fairly well. The second one is kind of creeping up there. But if you would share, 
these videos, uh, the the March Madness Knife Edition. If you would share these, that would also be awesome. That way more people can, you know, kind of get eyes on these. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of basketball fans mixed with knife fans, you know, who are basketball and knife fans who would enjoy these, you know, this type of tournament. So we're going into ergonomics, 4-2 lead to the Valona. Now, they are fairly similar in their size. I think the Valona is going to be, yeah, just a touch bigger. Now, the QSP Penguin has quite a bit more of a neutral handle. Um, ergonomics is really going to be dependent on my hand. Uh, you know, so it's going to be... But with that being said... I think, you know, I have the ability to discern the differences and what, what might make one more comfortable than the other. So for my particular hand, guys, the uh, Valona is a little bit thicker of a knife. As you can see there, it's a little bit thicker of a knife. It's just a thicker bodied knife. And we have a G10 backspacer going up about halfway or so. And although the Penguin is a comfortable knife because of that neutral handle, and you have the ability there to kind of choke up behind the edge on this flat, uh, I think I'm going to give the slight nudge and nod to the Valona. The way the handle is laid out and the way the spine is done, plus you have in that really nice milled clip that you're not going to feel much at all, if at all. I think I'm going to lean towards the Valona by just a you know minor tick. So we're going to give the ergonomics to the Valona here. Now, carry. This is going to be a little bit different of a ball game. So I will go ahead and show you what each of them look like in the pocket, which isn't something we did in the previous two. Now, we did do the weight in the uh, previous matchup. So the QSP Penguin here is going to carry nice and deep. You will not see much of that knife at all. As far as the Valona is concerned, because of that milled clip, you are going to see quite a bit of that knife poking out of the pocket. Now, you know, does that necessarily mean that that is a worse of a carry? I think it's going to be, you know, very dependent on, you know, the person at hand. Let's check the weight on these. We're looking at 3.25. 3.3 .3 on the Penguin there. And for the Valona, we are looking at 3.75 ounces for the Valona there. So, because the Penguin carries so deep, because it's so much lighter, and it's really, it's a little tiny bit shorter... I'm going to lean towards the QSP Penguin being the better carry of the two because it is lighter, it's a little bit shorter, and it carries a little deeper in the pocket. I think that one is going to be the little bit better carry in most circumstances, right? So let's go ahead and we will give the Penguin the point in that category. Now, next up, we move into aesthetics. So this is going to be, you know, how does the knife appear to you in its current form? So they both have satin finishes. One has micarta, red micarta. The other has tan G10. We'll go ahead and slide this out of the way so you can get a full picture there of both of these. I'll go ahead and wipe the blades off real quickly. That's mainly just from the cardboard and paper and whatnot that we just cut. Um, really, the aesthetics thing is going to go to 
the eyes of, you know, the beholder. Some people prefer, you know, I prefer anything. <laughs> I like everything, right? I like sheep's foots. I like drop points, Warren Cliffs. It doesn't really matter. I like them all. So they all look good to me. Um, they both have a satin finish. My Carta is what I typically would, uh, that's what I would want. You know what I mean? Over G10. Uh, my Carta is my go-to, you know, for a typical knife purchase. My Carta is my, my go-to choice for handle material. Um, aesthetics, man. They both have satin finishes, and they are both very nicely done as well. Um, the satin finish might go to the Penguin in this category as far as, you know, how they're both nice, but the uh, Penguin is very nice, especially considering its price point. Um, man, this is a tough call. Could we really go with a tie here? Because, man, it's it's just ultra tough, guys. Because um, the Valona is a fine, fine looking knife. <sighs> Had the Valona been in micarta, it would probably get the nod. Um, the milled clip with the satin finish. Uh... Boy, this is tough. I feel like I should give the slight nod to the Valona just because it looks like a little more just kind of goes into the Valona. Uh, you have the crown spine. You have the milled clip. Uh, <clears throat> I, I feel like, you know, you have a nice chamfer on the liner there where the, the penguin just has some jimping on the liner. I just feel like there's a little bit more that goes into the Valona. Uh, I, I think I feel safe in saying the Valona is going to take that category. So action department. Uh, the penguin, you know, they, these are going to both be liner locks. The Penguin's going to thwack out there with them thumb studs. It's got a little bit lighter of a blade. If you give it a little shake down, it'll drop to your nail. And then if you give it one to two shakes, it will go home. Uh, so the action department, guys, is probably, yeah, it's going to go to the Valona. We have a snappier detent. Whether we're talking off the fuller or the flipper. And then this will drop past half. And then two easy shakes to get it closed. Maybe even one. Yeah, it's going to go to the Valona, guys. It, it just is. The, the Penguin has decent action. But uh, the Valona has better action. Uh, sounds, both going to be liner locks, very tough, here I'll give you a couple open, here's the penguin going open, here it is going closed, click, open, little pop, closed, some decent clicks in there, here's the Valona open. Yeah, it's just closed, open, closing. Yeah, it, I think the Valona is going to get the slight nod. It gets a little, it's a little louder when it opens and you have a little bit more of a positive click uh, when it closes. So the fidget knife, the better fidget knife is going to go to the Valona here, guys. Uh we got multiple opening methods. We got a stronger detent on the Valona as well. Uh, it's a little bit smoother as well. It's just, the, the Penguin is fantastic at its price point, guys. But I think it's just, it's a little bit outmatched here. Uh, could I have done a better job putting, you know, a knife in this category against the Valona? Yeah, I could have. Uh, 
you know, I, I put a lot of thought and time into 32 knives to put into this. And I tried to do, you know, the best I could. I had other knives, but I wanted to get some QSP knives in this as well. And I just don't have that many. Um, and that's just where the penguin landed, guys. Um, one thing I could say, though, here going into the final category, I feel like the penguin could and would potentially be a better EDC and work knife based on this blade shape, based on the sheep's foot blade shape, and based on the size of this knife. This is going to make a hell of a good work knife, or it does. It's, it's been around for a long time. Uh, there's probably been more penguins sold than many, many, many knives uh, out there. I bet tens upon tens of thousands of penguins have been sold at this point. And that's because it's a good knife and it makes a great EDC knife. And I think this would make a great work knife. Uh, I think based on, you know, the size of the penguin, the blade shape of the penguin, I feel safe in saying that I think the penguin would make the better work knife. And I think it would keep up with the Valona as an, a day-to-day -day EDC knife as well. So I have no problem giving the better work an EDC knife to the Penguin. With that all being said, one, two, three, four for the Penguin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for the Valona. That will put the Valona in the winner column, and that will send the Penguin home. You can feel free, guys, to let me know what you think, and if I am wrong or if I am right, you let me know down in the comments. Uh, I love hearing from you guys. I'm going to try to somehow get these shorter, but uh, you know, even when we blaze through some stuff we're still i still keep getting stuck in these 21 22 minutes um you know and that's with me pausing and cutting things you know so to go through and really be detailed and give you guys you know correct information and what i'm really thinking at the time they're going to take some time we have 11 categories even at you know two you know two minutes a piece uh, and we're not spending two minutes on some of them. Some of them are very quick, but some take a little bit more of a demonstration or just a little bit longer to talk about. Uh, but I will try to get them cut down a little bit. Next up, we have a hell of a matchup coming. We have the Bluff versus the Rhino. The winner of that one will take on either the Bugai or the Mini Beluga. And then we are going to circle back around and the Frack is going to take on the SRM 255. The winner will take on the Sacra. Then we have a good one in the Concept Cryo and Victor going up against the Sokoki for the winner of that one. And then, like I said, the Trivisa Columba is a hell of a knife, guys. That'll be taking on a very good knife in itself, the Concept Main Street. So we got some good matchups coming. And once we work through these first couple uh, matches here, we have some really good matchups underway, I think. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the whole bracket, under my community tab, there is a blown up picture of this entire thing. If you want to fill one out and play along uh, or just see what matchups are actually coming, you can do that. You can pause and read and all that sort of thing. Uh, but we do have some very good matchups coming up. We have older knives. We have newer knives. Uh, lots of stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the matchup and... Once we get through this whole tournament, we have all year to plan for next year, which I think we can make even better and bigger. So let me know what you think. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit the subscribe button. Love you guys, and I will catch you on the next one.